Welcome to Ice Breaking Video. Today I'm going to show you how to make money from UK Bank. Before I do, I want to explain what compounding is. On the left hand side we have the compounding calculation and on the right hand side we have the simple calculation. The main difference between compounding and simple is that compounding takes into account reinvestment of the interest payment. We can see that in the second month. The second month it's 10,000 initial capital investment plus the interest payment of the first month. In the simple calculation, we have a constant capital throughout the 60 months. The first payment, you will see no difference in the interest payment. But as you go along the month, interest payment in the compounding calculation increases. And this is because the interest payments are added to the capital on which the interest is calculated. So if we see the total, the total for the compounding calculation is 2,800, whilst for the simple calculation it's 2,500. That makes a difference about 300 pounds. Now, in pounds, it doesn't look very large, but you have to understand that you're not doing anything apart from reinvesting your interest payment into the savings account or the current account that's paying the interest. Percentage terms, 13%. So if you have a large initial investment, say you had 1 million pounds, and we'll do the same for simple calculate. If you go down, we will see the difference. So 13% remains, but that's an extra 33,000 pounds that the compounding calculation has earned on top of what the simple calculation has earned. Now, this is a useful concept to understand because as you reinvest your profits, your dividend or your interest payment, it can add more to your savings. Now I'm going to show you the list of banks that are offering one of, of the many best current accounts in the market. Obviously this is geared toward someone who has low risk, does not want to risk losing their capital, but instead wants to make use of the capital. Now, in this example, I'm going to go through the list of banks, current account, or let's say the product services that are offered by these banks, whether or not these are attached to a fee, whether you have pay a fee or not, whether you need to have direct debit set up on the current account, the maximum number of accounts, the pay in amount. So, monthly, you will, for example, have to pay in £750 into the Halifax reward account. The interest rate, so whatever the interest rate is on that current account, annual equivalent rate, which is basically the gross rate for comparison with other current accounts. So for example, if you wanted to compare Lloyds Bank with Bank of Scotland, you would see that there is a difference of 1% or 100 basis points. Interest paid on balance up to. So that means that the interest will be paid on a balance up to a certain amount. So for example, PSP will pay 3% on the 5000 in the account, but any amount beyond 5000 will not generate any interest. Here I show the monthly gross interest that each of these products will generate and the yearly gross interest that these products will generate over 12 month horizon. So if we start with Halifax and First Direct and Cooperative Bank, we can see that all three have switching services. Now, for switching your bank, current bank, who you bank with, so for example, you get your salary paid in, where you have direct debits, standing orders, let's say where you pay your groceries, where you pay most of the items that you need to pay for during the month. So if you switch, you'll get £100. Now, that's £8 per month, but obviously they paid up front, they paid £100. Same goes for First Direct, same goes for Wap. Just to mention, I will put all of the links in the description so that you can go to the website directly where that product is within the bank's website and you can read through the details and apply for it if you wish. Now, for the rest of the account, we have Halifax Reward. So for Halifax Reward, you need to have two direct debits. You can have a maximum of one account. You have to pay in £750 a month. And you have to keep the account in credit. Do not go into negative because then you will lose the £5 that they pay monthly. Now, you pay in uh, £750 and you want to transfer that out because you need it for something else or you need it for the month. You can do that. But you need to pay in the £750 into the account. So, for example, if your salary does not come into Halifax, what you could do is you could send the money from another account, let's say TSB, send the 750 to Halifax, and then you send 
the money back. It just needs to go in and once it's in, take it out without penalty. Now, Lloyds Bank. Lloyds Bank has been offering Vantage accounts up to July this year. It will end this July and it's not open to new customers, obviously. So they have come up with a new account. It's called Club Lloyds. Club Lloyds, you need two direct debits, maximum one account. You have to pay in 1500 They pay 4%. You can have 5000 in the account. You can have more, but they will only pay up to 5,000 pounds. This will generate 17 pounds every month. Now, again, you don't have to have the salary here. Just move 1,500 from any of your accounts into this account, and if you want to take the money out, just take it out. The rest of the banks, you can do Bank of Scotland, do TSB, Santander, Yorkshire Bank, Nationwide. Now, all of these great rates simply need to meet the criteria, keep on track of when the money needs to be paid in, Normally, it's at the beginning of the month, and make sure that they stay in credit. Make sure that the direct debits are working in the cases of Halifax, uh, Lloyd Bank, and Santander. And you're going to reap the benefit because at the end of the day, if you open all of these accounts, you're going to have 145 pounds extra in your bank every month. That includes the switching, so the switching of Halifax First Direct and Cooperative Bank. And on a yearly basis, it's an extra 1,700. Now, again, this number will change based on the number of accounts you open. So here, all of these monthly gross interest payments are based on having one account for each of them. Now, in this case, for Bank of Scotland, you can have three accounts. So I'm going to apply that. That means £38. For TSP, that's also three accounts, so that's £38. Then for a plus account, you can have two accounts, that's 17 pounds. You can have two accounts with Santander, if that makes it 100. Yorkshire, you can have two accounts, if that makes it 10. So now, you have 259 pounds every month, every single month. You can use this for groceries, you can use it for anything you want. It's generating revenue for you to use. You could reinvest that into the stock market. You could, for example, invest it in bonds. You could consume it, so basically use the cash for whatever your needs are. It's just great sense. There's a great sense to do this. Efficiency, you, you might say, well, you know, I, I'm not willing to save because I like to spend. Well, fine. But if you spend, you're not going to reap the benefits of saving. You need to be disciplined. You need to try to cut down on your costs. Think about, for example, transport. Why do you need to go on a BMW? Why do you need to go in a car? Why do you need to... Uh, drive a motorcycle. You can go on a bicycle. Okay, you might say it's not safe. Well, yes it is. You can wear a helmet, you could wear uh, protective gear, you could wear uh, reflective gear, you could place a, a mirror on the bike. Another example, why do you need to buy a house and mortgage yourself and pay interest to the bank when the bank can pay interest to you? You could live in a room. You could rent a room in East London pay maximum 200 pounds for a single person, maybe maximum 400 pounds, all inclusive for two people. See for yourself, go on Gumtree. You can check it. Check it out now. It's there. You can grab those opportunities. Don't let yourself be taken over by pressure that you need to buy a house. Now, buying a house is, is one of the worst things young people can do because it makes them inflexible. If they want to go work in another country, they're stuck here with their house. If they make their payments, if you want to go out for a sabbatical year, you can't do that because you, know, you, you need to keep on paying the, the mortgage payments. It's a hassle. And at the end of the day, you're paying so much more to the bank in interest than you are reaping from the prices in London going up. And there's no guarantee prices will go up forever or will sustainably go up for the period of time that you own that house. So think it through. Think what's really necessary in your life. I mean, I, I give you a few basic groceries, bicycle for transport, you need a job, obviously. You need to pay for cosmetics, maybe a few things, left and right. But you don't need to spend thousands and thousands of pounds. Why? There's no need. So just try to think through of all of the costs that you have and try to strike out those that you don't need. Focus on what you need, put in an objective, and start saving. Use these products. They, they generate cash, and they can help you pay off your bill. What's worse, to owe the bank money and having to 
pay them interest or getting paid but not getting paid that much. I mean, 250 pounds, I know that's not a lot. But what's worse? Just think about it. I hope this video is useful for you. I think uh, this video about how to make money from UK banks can be of use. It can be uh, interesting for those who are saving. It may not be so interesting for those who are high risk and high consumers. They like to spend. Anyway, it, it's also for these people to give it some thought. Maybe they can see some benefits from this. And if you have any questions, just write them in the comments. I'll be happy to respond. And you know, I'm going to continue making videos on money, on finance, on saving, on investments, etc. So feel free to reach out anytime. Thank you.